Uh, good evening, everyone. It is Monday, October 7th. Currently 7, 7.50 p.m. A little late. Later than I should be uh, normally streaming, but got home a little bit late, had some dinner, and now I'm, uh, I'm ready to go. Um, so last time around, I haven't played for a few days. Not really. I've played on and off. Uh, so really, the last time we left off was essentially um, uh, when we killed Uber Elder. And honestly, that was, that was a real thrill. Uh, I'm, at this point, I think my main goal is to just sort of do the Elder Deathless, I'm thinking. Or even if, even if it's not Deathless, maybe just, you know, uh, at a good rate without dying too much. Yeah. It's not bad. What are you doing? I'm watching the debate and trying to get the uh, elder back. You're trying to get the elder back? Yeah. How close are you? Wait, uh, Uber elder. Uh, I'm killing the Shaper Guardians. Uh, and then after that, uh, he should pop. his Guardian should pop. Okay, so you have like 20 Shaper or Elder influence already or something? No, no, you don't need that. You don't need that number. It's oh, you just need to kill the you, Guardians. You just need to kill the Guardians as long as he spawns next to the Guardians. Yo, I'm gonna spawn him. Why not? He, uh, if you do enough maps, he'll, he'll pop up right next to the uh, Guardians. Yeah, the Shaper is on my, uh, or the Shaper influence is on the Guardians already. So I just need to yeah. clear it, right? Yeah, you just need to clear it. Okay, I'll do that. So I, I can no longer do Dells now. Why? They do so much damage, I don't even know what to do. Well, that's what I told you, you wanted a challenge. <laughs> like, I, I legitimately don't know what to do anymore. Like, um, it's like regular Dells is okay, but I can't do any of the special areas with the... with the Vol, um, constructs, you know those shotgun -y people? Yeah. They sh oh man, they just one-shot me. Oh, really? Yeah, it's pretty rough. That's surprising. I didn't think it would be that bad for you. It's just those. It's just those ball constructs. I don't know what to do about it. There's too many of them, like grouped up together. Um, I literally have to stand behind the cart and shoot forward, and hope uh, mm -hmm. I don't get hit. Basically. Uh, I think you need. Oh, I guess you're a bow character, huh? I was gonna say you need fortify. No, I don't have room. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I don't have room for fortify. Yeah, that's not that's not good. I don't either, but at this point, I just want to stack as much reduced damage as I can. You need fortify. You need some endurance charges. You need you need a bit of stuff. I kind of want the um, uh, aspect of the cat. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, but I, I don't have enough uh, mana reservation for it, so I think I need uh, that armor that costs way too goddamn much money. Uh, Farrell's Fur or something? Yeah. Okay, that, that does cost way too much goddamn money. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, I'm gonna run an Alva Minotaur Fortune of the Brave. I'm trying to get these challenges, but they're expensive, man. He's a uh, fortune of the brave. Was it like four or five chaos a pop? It's two chaos a pop, but still a lot. Like mm. definitely too much. But at, like these maps, I'm at the point where you know what? These maps they're pretty much well, not even do they're, they're pretty easy, right? Yeah, they are. So, I think we're at the point where your character is like, it's pretty much done. Um, you just want to like, you know, kill Uber Elder efficiently or, um, you know, get deep into the delves. Clearly you can't get any deeper into the delves, so that's one problem. No, I, can't, I can't get any further. It's, it's starting to get really rough. Okay. Oh, wow. Either a tier 3 room that increases pack size, or change it into a tier 2 legion. I guess I'll do the legion, because that's the cooler one. 
Oh, also, there's apparently like uh, beast bosses. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of want those, but they're really. Uh, they, you, I've never seen one, even when Beast Theory was <laughs> was around. Like I, I, I never even seen a Beast Theory boss. Oh, once I, I fought a Beast Theory boss once in Beast Theory League. They're so freaking rare, man. So you can actually get the beast for like about an exalt that will open the portal. Okay. Uh, I don't want to pay an exalt. I don't. I don't have an exalt. What? I don't have an. I, I, I used all my money for that ring, and now I don't have any money left. I have a hundred chaos. And that 100 chaos is slowly dwindling due to the fact that I'm spending it at all on maps. But you have that doctor card, baby. I do have a doctor card. Because stack deck is OP, apparently. Yo, keep that doctor card. I feel like the doctor card is just gonna sit on like a trophy case somewhere. And then one day we're gonna get Headhunter on standard. You know, a year down the road. Cause that's it's like how many doctor cards have we had over the last two leagues? Two, but I stole mine like an idiot. Well, I you never you never got one again, and it's it's one per league, you know. Yeah, I sold it for fifteen exalts. We what? Oh, yeah, fifteen exalts. Yeah. Well, right now they're eight exalts, so they're even less. Here's the th well, cause uh, headhunters are not as good. Well, it's because you can chance him this league. It's and, and it's not as good, yeah. Because Legion was so strong. Wait, you can chance him? How? Uh, in Nemesis League. If you do the Nemesis mod. Uh, oh. So if you if you just, I guess, have time or are bored, basically you either buy or you keep leather belts, right? Like white leather belts. Um, leather belts? Okay. And then, you know, you just wait until you have six inventories full of leather belts. You r open up a map, like any map, and then you add the Nemesis mod uh, on your Xana map device. And then you bring in all your belts, and you just start chancing. And once you're done chancing the first inventory, you take the portal back home. You grab another inventory full of belts, and then you do it again. Yeah, okay, no. And then you I use six the portals. I mean, that's, that's what people used to do. That was like the only way to get Headhunter, actually. Are you serious? Dude, the game's changed so much. That's why I'm like... The game's so much easier now. Okay, maybe not easier. It's more accessible. There's more than one way to do something. Because the way you used to do it is a little dumb. We're stupid? Yes. Well, yeah, it, it was it was stupid. It was hard. Okay, it's their way of making things hard, layers upon layers of RNG, and I kind of agree with it because I like RNG, but at the same time, it's like you know some of the content, some of the bosses, I literally never got to experience it. Like I just I just couldn't play. So it's not like guess this game. As, it, as there's changes, they, they probably made it a little better for casual gamers. Because I can't imagine it, like it made it a lot more accessible towards casual gamers. Yeah, I can't imagine any casual gamers actually being able to do any of these end game content. Correct. Um, a lot of times in past leagues, I found I you know I just I set a limit. I wanted to get to level ninety or level whatever, and then um, the the biggest problem was there was just not enough content in the late game to sort of justify getting to level 90 or 100 it just didn't get high enough um but now you know it's it's a lot better there's a lot of things to do i think the moment um uh delves came out all of a sudden there was a reason to do higher end stuff because there's always harder stuff which is the delves right the delves always gets harder the delves is fucking garbage because <laughs> you can't beat it now. Just fucking one shot it. It's like it's not even I can't beat it. Like the cart moves forward, and then I die. Hey, you gotta be tanky. You gotta be super tanky. I, people build delve characters though because I think just straight um, 
Delving with a clear speed character just isn't gonna cut it. The high level delves are just magnitudes harder than maps. There's no comparison really. It's so rough. I have no idea why Maxine Bernier of the People's Party and that Quebec guy is doing the debate because they're not going to win, for sure. Well, you still got to participate, you know, you got to get the ribbon. Actually, I don't even think the Green Party should be a part of it. Like, what, they're not going to win. Why, why is this debate even happening? Like, why are they given the platform? Show face. Nah. Equal opportunity, okay? Nah, get the fuck you, off. You yeah. gotta, you gotta give them a shot. That, I mean, that's what it is, right? It's just to give them a shot. I don't know. I need more how, how deep do you actually get into Canadian politics? Um, I'm paying more attention now during election time, but I wouldn't say that, like, oh, I'm into it on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so it's it's more. Is it more of an entertainment value, or are you actually invested? I'm invested. I didn't get Justin Trudeau out of the freaking office. Okay. <laughs> He's garbage. I mean, honestly, I don't even know what he does. He the, he straight up like the SNC Lavin scandal, full on corruption. And, uh, I mean, I, okay, here's the thing. I've worked in the professional world enough to know that it doesn't matter who's running, everyone's fucking corrupt. Yeah, okay, fine. Don't get caught in it. Don't get caught doing it. Yeah, be smart get, about don't it. Don't get caught. Yeah, I know. That's Yeah, look, if you're going to if you're going to be corrupt, then don't be caught. If you're done enough to be caught, then you need to get out of it and he didn't get out of it. And as someone who is in the legal community, I have a huge problem with the executive office um, fucking with the branch of government that is supposed to provide oversight for the executive office. Okay, that's fair. And also, he was supposed to do get rid of first past the post voting. Um, and then he decided not to. Oh yeah, that was bullshit. I remember that. Yeah, I wanted first past the post to be gone. Like. First past post isn't fair. You know what? I, I feel like <sighs> politics is one of those topics where no one really gets it. And then people just watch it. And like, it, it's just you're repeating the headlines, you know? I'm not repeating that. A lot of times that's what it is. Or that's There's what I find. I think there's things that are important to different people. Like, there's only really two things that are important to me, which is um, one: don't fuck with the le uh, the legislative or not the legislative, the judicial branch. You should never fuck with the judicial branch. And number two, what happens to the first half? Because you're in the judicial branch. I'm in the judicial branch. Don't fuck with the judicial branch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's extremely fair, actually. Like. Uh, the judicial branch is only effective when people believe that it's impartial. Like, the court system only works when people believe in it. It's literally the only part of government that works by reputation. So don't fuck with it. So what what happened exactly? So here's the thing, I like, I never paid attention, and even if I did, I don't think I would understand it. So I just kind of keep out of it. What, what do you mean what happened? Like. Why is, why is the SNC Lavin scandal like yeah. such a big deal for me? Okay, so uh, okay, let me pause the debate. I'm trying. I'm talking right over Justin Trudeau right now. Um, so there's three branches of the government, right? Legislative okay. branch, the executive branch, and the judicial branch, and they all are supposed to keep checks and balances on each other. So what happens if you don't? If you lose faith in your legislative branch, you vote them out, right? That's your MP. Those are the people that you vote into to write laws, right? What happens if you lose faith in the judicial branch? Well, you vote them out because that's uh, you vote for your permanent, right? 
Uh, okay. But what happens if you lose faith in the judicial branch? You can't vote out. Wait, you said you said judicial branch twice. Sorry, sorry, not judi- um, legis- Okay, legislative and executive can be voted out because those are your representatives that you elect. If you don't like them, you vote them out, right? Okay. So the judicial branch, so the, the entire legal system that is supposed to keep check on the other, well, everybody keeps check on each other, but there is no way for you to regain trust in the judicial system once people believe that it's unfair. The reputation of the judicial branch cannot be doubted. It works because people believe that the justice system is at some way fair. So whenever any branches of government fucks with the judicial branch, I have a huge problem with because it's very difficult for the judicial branch to get its trust back from the people. Okay. You, you don't have an option to vote people in. Okay, so so now explain to me how was the judicial branch messed with? Okay, so the there are people that are in the executive branch that technically controls the judicial branch, but they're supposed to be impartial. For example, a the attorney general, which is the highest appointment in the judicial branch, not including Supreme Court justices, um, is elected by the prime minister. Um, so what happened was SNC Lavalin, one of the big engineering firms in Canada, um, essentially uh, did a whole bunch of shady deals in, I want to say Syria? Oh, fuck it. Uh, yeah, SNC Lavalin just did a whole bunch of deals. I can't, I don't remember if it's Syria or, anyway, it's one of the, one of the countries that we're not supposed to be doing business with. Um, or specifically doing certain types of business with. Anyway, so they have some a couple of legal contracts um, and technically they should be criminally prosecuted. And if they are criminally prosecuted, what happens is that they can no longer, and, and essentially charged, uh, the company can no longer take government contracts, right? Okay. And if the government, if that company can take government contracts, uh, SNC claims uh, that uh, they are going to essentially go bankrupt because a lot of their revenue comes from Canadian government contracts. So okay. uh, the prime minister, so Justin Trudeau, decided to go and press on uh, Jody Rayson, Jody Rayson Rabel, uh, the attorney general of Canada, who ultimately decides on whether or not to prosecute these companies. So Justin Trudeau decided to press on her to not um, to not press charges against uh, SNC Lavalin and take a deferred criminal uh, plea deal. Uh, so it, it, they basically plead out without any sort of discussion uh, about uh, whether or not a crime was actually committed. This will allow SNC to continue to operate. Um, and okay, get it's it's contract. like a it's like a political bailout. Kind of, yeah, basically. Um, okay. So and then the AG was like, no, that's fucked. And then he fired her. And then, um, what should I call it? And then uh, uh, one of AG's friends, I can't remember, who was also part of his cabinet. Who's, said, like, who's whoa, AG? Whoa. The attorney general. Okay, got it. Yeah, and then the other person was like, whoa, 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 like, that's fucked. You can't just fire her. And then they fired him too. So. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. So, and it was such a big deal because you know how Trudeau is all about like, oh, indigenous women's rights, whatever. And then the AG, the, our attorney general is an indig- indigenous woman who is holding the highest judicial appointment um, in the land. And then she got fired. And then um, now, and then like a whole bunch of Supreme Court justices also got implicated in this because, so what Trudeau did was call up Supreme Court justices um, and then uh, ask them for their opinion on whether or not a deferred uh, prosecution agreement is um, acceptable in this case. And whoever said yes in the Supreme Court, he then went back to the AG and were like, hey, maybe you should seek out um, the Supreme Court justices for counsel. And here's the names of the people you should call. So he, she, he then gave the names of the people who already agreed with him as if, you know, their new information, they were going to be impartial. Okay. Repeat that last part. That's the part that I. And, and this is. Right now, it's n- none of this. This is all facts, right? Like, this is just what happened. Yeah. No, this is not spin. This is just facts. Yeah. Okay. So, 
what, what last part? The, the part with regards to the Supreme Court justice? Uh, the names. The, the names of what? Oh, the, the, the supporters, or so you, you mentioned something about... Oh, so, yeah, okay, so um, Justice McLaughlin, for example, I, I don't know if you know who she is, but she was the chief Supreme Court justice. She retired. Um, she has a very good record. Like, I would say that uh, she's probably one of the most respected um, justices in, like, in the Supreme Court history. Anyway, okay. So, uh... Justice Trudeau actually gave her a call and asked what she thought about this and whether or not a deferred criminal prosecution agreement was uh, uh, viable in this case. And okay, so he was asking for advice from the sounds of it. He asked for he asked for advice exactly, and then the the Supreme Court. So, um, fuck, who was this talking about? I lost my train of thought. Um, anyway, the Supreme the Chief Supreme uh, the Chief Justice essentially said, yeah, like I mean. Uh, uh, if, Deferred criminal prosecution agreement is fine in this case. And then he's like, great. And then he went and went back to the AG. So, um, what's her face? Uh, Jody Raisin Rabel? Jody, Jody Wilson Rabel. And went back to the AG and was like, hey, uh, I know you're, you're torn about this. Maybe you should seek the advice of a Supreme Court justice. Uh, how about Justice McLaughlin? Oh. Uh. So he already knew Justice McLaughlin was going to agree with him, and then he gave that thing anyway. He gave the, um, and then he he gave the uh, uh, referral anyway, just to try to convince the AG right. to do a deferred criminal prosecution group. So, well, you're saying though that everyone respects the AG greatly, right? I, I have no idea who the AG is. I don't care about. Oh, okay. I, I, I about I, the actions. I, I, I don't think what Justin Trudeau did was wrong. Like, I okay. think uh, SNC Lavalin should uh, get a deferred. Hello. Hey, I think Hello. SNC Lavalin should get the deferred uh, criminal uh, prosecution agreement. Like, you cannot fuck with a company like that. And, like, look, the reality is people do shady business. Why can't you fuck with a company like that? What? You brag scions of a dictator, then I don't know. I kind of get coming for you. Wait, what? Don't don't what? 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 Uh, I was I, talking I, about. I, the, I didn't uh, catch that. What was that? Oh, am I am I low? No, no. I I, I heard you, but I I did catch that last bit. Oh. Yeah, it's like if you bribe scions of a brutal dictator, then you kind of have a coming for you, don't you? Yes. So that's that's what I mean. But like, I I don't fault Justin Trudeau for his reasoning. Um, I I fault him for the actions that he has taken to enforce his reasoning. Um, like, look, I don't think they should fuck with uh, SNC Lavalin's uh, business. They they employ a lot of Canadians. It's the economy is more important than like a shady contract in the middle of nowhere. I don't give a fuck if it's shady, like whatever. Um, they, they create a lot of revenue and generate a lot of jobs for Canadians. And I think SNC Lavalin should get a deferred prosecution um, uh, agreement. Um, but the way Trudeau has went about doing it is wrong. And it's wrong to the point where I'm like, he should not be in the office. That's basically my issue with it. Interesting. Well, I mean, it's, it's just interesting just to hear somebody that kind of pays attention to what's going on. and That was really only the, the issue that I care about. Like, uh, and, and obviously the first pass of post voting. Like, that's, he promised. And I, I was really excited for it. And then he was <laughs> like, no. Hey, where's my thingy? He, t he promised the thingy. Yeah, he promised the thingy. Like, because I, I remember I voted for and then Harper, I, would, I knew Harper was going to lose, but I voted for That's Harper in the Windsor sick. area because, like, I actually selectively voted because I checked my writing to see... In the I, Windsor area? Yeah, so I checked my writing to see if my conservative vote will matter it, where I live, and it doesn't because they're, my area is... Willowdale area was solidly conservative that time. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to use my vote for Windsor instead. So, whereas it's fairly solid NDP, but there was a good, like, uprising for conservatives. Um, and like they were probably going to lose anyway, but I'm like, yeah, my, my vote's more powerful here. So I decided to vote in Windsor. And then Harper lost. 
by like a lot. And I was like, fine. But you know what? At least my, my consolatory prize was uh, no more first pass the post. I'm like, yay, you know, better than nothing. And then he decided to do a referendum and nobody paid attention. Yeah, obviously, I remember this. And I would say like 99% of Canadians have no idea what first pass the post even means and why it matters. Would you like he to did. explain that? What, first past the post? Yeah. So the, like, okay, so the, we, most countries use a, a system called first past the post, which essentially- No, that's incorrect. What, really? That's incorrect. Okay, we use first past the post. And does the United States. And, and okay, does the, countries the UK. That, countries that, that matter. Those. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Okay. So. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, okay. Are you right now? I, I most certainly am, he, but he totally is. He's live streaming. Okay. This isn't even an episode. Okay. Okay. So, so, I would say a lot of the developed country uses first pass the post. Nope, that's incorrect. Okay. Whatever. I'm, I'm live fact checking you here, Jimmy. That's fine. Canada, where I live, uses first pass the post. Which it's it's the only country that matters to him. There you go. Well, I care about the states too. But, uh, anyway, uh, so he uses first pass the post, which means the person with the most vote uh, wins the seat. And first pass the post does not work because it doesn't necessarily mean that the person with the most votes is the most popular. It just means that it's the he got more than the next guy. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to. I'm I'm fighting the lich in the bell. <laughs> How does this remotely task I'm just dead. It's very hard. Um. And uh, yeah, so it, it it doesn't necessarily mean that he's the most popular. It just means that he got more votes than the next guy. Yeah, um, well, it does so, mean that they're most popular. Mm, in that most people chose that person. It, didn't yes. didn't so it, it just, didn't President Trump win even though he was the most popular? No, but you're talking about electoral colleges versus the popular vote. Oh, so that's okay. A totally okay. That's a okay. See, this is this is why uh, I need to be educated. All right, keep going. So I want to run. So essentially, um, if you get rid of first past the post, uh, what's going to do is that the popular vote will win, uh, which means that they will rank the. Uh, representatives based on how they like them. So it will be number one, number two, number three. Your, I guess your, your, well, your favorite will be do... one form of yes. uh, mixed member proportional representation. Yes. So essentially the idea is that it's not necessarily, let's say it's not the one, let's say you have uh, uh, three candidates and it's 33%, 33%, sorry, 32%, 33%. <laughs> oh my God. 32%, 33%, 34%, right? So 34% would win in that case, even though he does not, he only represents 33% of the people, right? Yes? Okay. Makes sense? Yeah. I mean, I'm still trying to get over the fact that it doesn't add up to 100%, but sure. Yeah, but whatever, I, I can't math. I'm a lawyer, I, I don't do accounting stuff. Anyway, so the idea, oh my God. Um, so the idea is if you get rid of first class post, you get a more representative, uh, uh, result in terms of who is actually um i guess more likable in your writing i'm, I'm trying to uh okay so in the previous case 33 32 35 okay yes yes who wins in in the current 35. doesn't 35 yes what about but then you literally have 32 and 33 percent of the people not being represented by this guy right right okay so what happens in if you were to get rid of it so if you get rid of it um let's say everybody the guy who got 34 four percent of the 35 percent of the votes he gets 35 percent uh, of the house or the no 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 are you so talking can, are you talking about rank choice here or are you talking about M &P? rank choices rank choices Okay, uh, because those I mean, are two different general, things. In general. So, it would be people who are picking their... Um, people who are picking their most... Uh, their, their best choice, 
and then it will be the second best trick. And then you'll look at the total amount of votes and see who actually is ranked the highest for all the votes and not You're just the person. instant runner. Yes. Okay. So it, it's not just the person who has the most votes. Um, and that would provide you with a, in theory, a more representative so uh, choice. so if i were to vote i actually rank them all one two three is what you're saying correct like this is my favorite candidate this is like if i don't get my favorite this is my second favorite and then they they do the score based on that so like i, I don't know the first place is worth three points the second place is worth two sure. points and third place no. is worth one is that how it goes no no sure, why not no well that's that's one way of doing it but the well, way I'm that just, they were proposing just asking. Or the way that you're talking yeah we're 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 poli sign here. So how how it was proposed with the instant runoff uh, rank choice system would be yeah so exactly you rank like one two three four or five or whatever, and then what happens is after the first round if nobody has fifty percent of the vote then whoever has the least amount gets knocked off the ballot and then whatever that those people who voted for that candidate who got knocked off the ballot, their second choices get added to the totals, and so on and so forth, until one person has at least 50%, or 50 plus one of the vote. So you get a better representative, uh, you, get, you get a more representative showing for the writing that you're in, as opposed to fucking... So it would eliminate the idea of vote splitting. So like, say you have two guys that you kind of like, and one person that you really don't like. Right now, there's a tendency in our system to vote for the person who you think is most likely to win rather than the person that you want more than the other. Right? This is why right. NDP you might vote win. strategically. Yeah, this is why NDPs never win because they would, a lot of NDP voters end up voting liberal. Because they have the higher chance of winning. Because they don't in want conservative. The last couple, in the last couple elections, sure. Correct. But it's getting closer. They should just keep voting NDP. Oh, uh, it's NDP. too complicated. No, it doesn't have to be too complicated. I have a great system for choosing who I vote for. It's oh, yeah? really easy. Yeah, I vote for whoever asks me to. Like in person? If if they show up in person, then that's better than a flyer. The conservative lady is always in our neighborhood. Like, oh, really? as far as I'm concerned, yeah, there was one guy who sent me a happy Chinese New Year's card two months late. Uh, you know who's not getting the vote? Yeah, you know who's not getting the vote? That's kind of, that's, yeah, that's kind of shitty. But like, the no, idea well, is... No one else sent you a Chinese, happy Chinese New Year's Yeah, yeah well, I'd rather yeah, them not send it to me than send it to me two months late, you know? That's, that, that, that's a good point. But like, I don't know, in, in our system of government, like an individual MP has very little power to influence policy, right? Right. Uh, they have a lot of power to help you as your, their constituent, right? So my take is I want somebody who's like pounding the pavement and showing that they'll put in the work. And if they put in the work on the campaign, then maybe they're more likely to put in the, the work if they're in office. Okay, I mean, that's that's a fair way to go about it. Sometimes they think your vote's not valuable in the, in the writing or wherever you're at because you're already locked to a particular party. Like, your writing's already locked to a particular party. So that's unfortunate. In those I cases, have. you know, Curtis would be the swing voter. Right? Sure. In a way? I mean, cut. I mean, if... if you're talking about a one volt or uh, let's let's even say like a thousand volt difference. I think they will actually start coming to your door. If, if oh, it's okay. That close. But they, what they do is they just do polling and see where it's actually worth it for them to waste their money. Not waste. Waste is not. Spend not the word, their money. Spend their money. Yeah, spend their money and, and put the people on the ground. <laughs> and they have micro data now. It's crazy. Yeah. Man. It's how just... closely they can target, like neighborhoods and everything. Like they know where the votes are, they know where their supporters are, where they don't need to spend as much time, and where they need to, just yeah. based on like demographic data. So when I actually saw the conservative lady, I was kind of worried. I'm like, whoa, 
Like we're normally, Good evening, like, Recorrupted. How are you going? Service. Nobody comes. How's it our, doing? Like, Not how's it going? Door in my area. So, was it her first time running, or was she an incumbent? Uh, first time running, but I think that's probably it. it. Yeah, make sure. Not shady yet. yet. <laughs> Not shady yet. <laughs> well, we uh. Good luck with yeah, it's going. <laughs> I hope it's going well for you, bud. Are you guys running maps together? Uh, I'm doing my own maps because I'm trying to spawn Uber. I'm also doing my own maps because I'm trying to spawn Uber. Yeah, see, there you go. I managed to uh, beat the Uber, Curtis. Congrats. Jimmy, you want to help me run a... I also got a doctor card over the weekend. Like map later. I heard about that. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, stack decks are OP. Does that help? Uh, sure. I'll help you well, Jimmy it. doesn't want me to sell it, even though I kind of need you. cash. <laughs> I will give you eight exalts. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, I don't, I'll probably. I don't need the money. You have I'll probably give you guys. I do have eight exalts. Some of my currency and stuff. What's that? Just because I'm I'm headed to PEI for the next week in a bit. So oh no. Be playing at all. What are you giving? I was just gonna hand over some stuff that I probably. You know, you know what you do in that situation, right, Curtis? But you uh you leave your computer on. You take your laptop with you. Oh my and... god, dude! <laughs> and then you stream it. Oh, well, that's a thing, right? I always consider doing that. So uh, today, I literally almost like rage quit this game. What? <laughs> yeah. So I was in... holy shit. Like I was no, I was, I, was really... I was in the delves, and then uh, I was trying to get to the next like. The delve area, but it's one of those special areas, um, the the yellow one. So it's filled with void construct. And the moment the cart, oh, you just one shot you. I and then I got one shot three times, back to back to back. You know what you do there? If you see it coming, actually you don't see oh, it coming, I guess. I, you don't see it coming because new mobs spawn every time. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. Ooh. Anyway, I, I just stopped doing that. Oh doing shit, I should have dropped the portal. Yo, I'm getting I'm getting destroyed in a Chimera map. What's going on? You get a... Uh, what is this map? You got bad rules, man. So, today, yeah, like, literally before role. you guys came on, um, there was a guy like, oh, like, please help me, it's my last portal uh, for Minotaur, like, uh, anybody? And then I'm like, ah, I'll give it a shot. And then this fucker... He rolled, uh, unique monsters have like 30% more extra damage, 30% more crit, like 100% more area of effect on Minotaur. So like, the <laughs> moment, no wonder, eh? The moment I walked through the door, I got one shot it from like off screen. And I'm like, dude, you're fucked. Like, just, just lose the map. <laughs> like, wow. like, you can't do that. I mean, there's some builds that are just, you know, immortal builds, right? Like, maybe they'll be hidden for days, but at the end of the day, they'll kill it. Yeah. Oh, oh God, no. All, Leave me alone. Just... First of all, you can't roll a map like that. Uh, at least on Minotaur. You can literally do it everywhere else where, like, their attack doesn't oh. one shot. But Minotaur? Yo, all my EXP, it's gone. The Chimera. Oh. He's he, sucks, he's not only destroyed my character but also my soul. That's okay. You're never gonna level again. Dude, it was so close. It was at sixty percent or some shit. You got you're down to zero. Zero. Oh, shit. Um, I think uh, oh. I would like to run. Uh, like, look, I'll I'll pay for the um fragments and then we can run a, a four emblem run. Oh. oh yeah. Am oh, I yeah. invited? Sure. You, uh, you might die. Oh, wait, what level are you now? Uh, eighty. Wait, you uh, did you respect? Uh, no, uh, I re-rolled the new character just for fun. Do you? Did you? Are you following a guide? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just so, making sure. Because I mean, um, there was a there was a binos dagger on a, a, our guild stash, so I tried uh, the Cobra Lash assassin. Oh, I oh yeah, another, yeah I that's fun. I put another one in there if you want. 
Oh yeah? I just found one, yeah, so if you want to dual wield that shit, there you go. <sighs> it's a pretty strong dagger, actually. Like, even, like, let's say you're not, like, building around it in the beginning as a leveling item, it's pretty damn strong. Wait, what dagger? Uh, the, the, not really, like the a final kitchen knife or something? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, kitchen knife? it's pretty good this league, actually. Recorrupted says, I lost all my XP to aid mod twin Malachi today. 3.7k HP is getting hard. 3.7k. That's, uh, that's like how I, how much I used to have. And it's, it's not good. But I'm assuming it's, it's low level or you got another form of defense somewhere. I hope you do. You know who I keep dying to when I when I do the shaper and I think he's harder than the shaper. That fucking maybe it's Malachi. The the one in the in the belly of the beast. Piety? No, not pi the one that kills piety. Malachi? Maybe it's Malachi. Malachi. Yeah. Oh, actually. He like, hops around and he has a heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah Malachi, Malachi. Okay, okay. Hurts. Fuck that guy. He's harder than the shaper. I swear to God. Uh, mm, I don't know about that. Maybe if you do like an eight mod map, get some AOE in there. Yeah, no, no, he was he was one of the shaper like random, you know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I died to him once, which is once more than I died to the shaper. <laughs> you did shaper deathless. Yeah, shaper deathless is pretty easy actually. I got There's pretty still. close to. Jimmy knows what's up. Yeah, he knows. What's What's funny is he knows like at this point he knows quite a bit about the end game, and yet he knows nothing, absolutely nothing about the story. Yeah, I have no idea. Like you so ask him what's the tier f act five boss or act three boss or whatever, like, he, he has no idea. Man knows what he likes. Yeah, yeah he just game, skip That's through cool. everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> only thing that matters. End game is the only thing that matters. Oh no, Curtis! Curtis, going back to the topic, you, you can stream your yeah. game, you know. Uh, in theory, probably. I don't know how it would work. No. no, 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 not even in theory. Like, um, uh, wait, how does it work again? You can uh, Steam client gives you the ability to stream across either Steam Link or Steam client. I don't know which one. I know Steam Link for sure. You can do it. But you should be able to do it from PC to PC as well. Um, basically, one acts as a streaming host, and then the other one just picks it up. So say you're in the same network. So originally, the way it worked is if you were in the same network, it's like the in-home streaming, right? Okay. So you put your PC somewhere in the corner, which was what I was telling Alan to do. You put your PC in the corner, and then you open up your laptop, and then it gives you the option to play through the other computer instead, just straight in the Steam client. From what I heard, and I never tried it, you can now do that across networks. So I've tried it on my phone. Like I, I use, sometimes if I get bored, I would, my computer never turns off. So I would open up Steam Link and I would play like card games on my phone. And technically it's streaming through my PC. Okay. And it, it runs just okay. fine. Um, Wait, what do you but latency doesn't do? really matter in a card game. That's what I'm thinking. Latency, that, that's right. So you, you do need good latency. Um, I mean, my computer has good latency, and on my phone it had LTE, so actually you could play whatever, right? I think LTE is probably faster than your phone. LTE is pretty fast. Good evening, guys. Slowly catching up. Now 86 on my Blade Flurry and 84 on my Summoner. Hopefully I'll be able to reach 90 on both soon. Hey, Kristoff. Uh, yeah, I mean, it sounds like you got some some pretty good characters going there working on two characters at the same time though you know that's that's uh i guess some people just have a lot of alts i used to be like that now i'm just like you know what this is my character and uh he's with me till the end Uh, I will be right back, actually. Um, three minutes, quick wash and break, and the episode. And hopefully, next time around, I can finish these two maps. Um, or next episode, tonight, we can finish the rest of these two maps and try Uber Elder again. Hopefully. Alright, I'll be right back.